Hello everyone, welcome back to the latest Star Trek Adventures, uh, Nighthawk, episode 7 of season 2. Uh, to set the scene for the uh, opening captain's log, um, well, the captain is currently dead, so we have uh, Commander Bashir, uh, who is making the log in the remnants of the captain's ready room, staring out over the blast, a gaping hull uh, breach. Staring out over a massive um, Nalu dreadnought. So, Commander, please take it away. Stardate 83121.3. Captain Segrell is dead. Segrell and Lieutenant Commander Sher Lestran, along with the Nalu ambassador and her guards, were killed in a massive explosion. Ambassador Mashal and her escort have returned to their ship. The Nalu escort, or the Nalu dreadnought, continues to make threats to escalate more violence. I've had my first officer, Commander Helsing, gather all department heads, including a newer junior officer to represent the science department. We must now put aside our emotions and feelings to find a peaceful resolution to this situation and found out how and why the captain paid for it with his life. Some days, you just shouldn't leave your quarters. Captain Bashir out, and log. All right, so we are going to have our first scene in what remains of the captain's ready room. <coughs> All of those people are dead. Let's have to put the right people in, shall we? So, uh, temp acting captain Bashir, you are in the. You're staring at the crime scene. A what appears to be a fairly uh, uh, powerful yet small explosive uh, appears to have detonated shortly or placed closely by the captain's desk. Uh, the blast radiated outwards, uh, decimating and turning the outer hull and the windows into flying pieces of shrapnel. I, uh, there are currently indications where the captain's bodies were, where the captain's body was found, where the chief engineer's body was found, and where the uh, where the Nalu ambassador and her escort were. Um, you have you. It's been about. 30 minutes or so since the captain's death was declared. Um, the air of the ship, or the air of the Nighthawk, has shifted drastically from what was an uh, overall positive experience to just a series of forebo- uh, Everyone is now foreboding. And it doesn't help that there is a massive dreadnought outside and a potentially trigger-happy commander who is who is already barking and making threats how would you like to proceed all right um is the same residue uh here is, is it the same like explosive residue um that we found on the other stations ah. or that sounds like a good uh, question to ask your chief of security and your newly promoted science officer, Lieutenant Vayud. Or sorry, Vayud? Vayud. Lieutenant Vayud. So, um, I'd like to introduce Ranker Bait, playing our new Bajoran science officer, Lieutenant Vayud Aina. And if you could please um, just talk a little bit about your character there, Ranker. All right. Um, she is based on the icon a brunette and she she's pretty pretty light footed and um but dis despite the current situation she her expression's rather downcast and didn't really get to know the captain personally but did look up to him and like admired how he ran the crew right mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Captain Bashir, what would you like them to do? 
Um, like I said, I'd be curious to know if this is the same explosive material that had the other stations. Um, uh, I can't remember. Was it the, the Nalu residue? Yeah. Nalu, metacarbonate. There you go. Metacarbonate. That's what I was trying to think about. Okay. All right. So can I get a couple scans from you, science officer? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a... Insight plus science, uh, difficulty of one. And if someone wishes to assist you, they, mo they most certainly could. Uh, Captain, do you want to science it or do you need a security? I want you there anyway. Yeah. Each one of you, uh, depending on which, if, if you roll science, I'll tell you one thing. If you roll security, I'll tell you another. Okay. Um, I wouldn't have it. Uh, what you might call it? Focus, focus, right? What are your focuses? Uh, computers, hacking. Uh, I don't have sensors, so xenobiology, phenology, deflector, and communication. Nope, no focus, I'm afraid. All right. And what would security be? Um, security would be if you have uh, explosives or weapon technology. Covert ops. <laughs> um. Yes, I will allow covert ops in this instance. Roger that. And it would be... Uh, insight security difficulty yeah, of but... two for this case because of reasons. Okay, wow. Uh, you should roll a, one more dice there, Hell. Oh, oh, I see. You're, you were just assisting Vaid. Okay. Roger. Ah, all right. Cool. Neat. Uh, so that will max out your momentum. Um, for people wondering why I'm starting at almost max is this was a two-part episode, so I'm just carrying forward with the momentum and the threat that we carried we had last session. Okay, um, this is what you learn, uh, Vaid, is that the is that there is no trace of the metacarbonate um, element present. Uh, which is traditional in most of the, which has been found in the recent string of Nalu implicated attacks. Um, there's also no mention of any elements that could potentially trace this back to the uh, Kasala. <clears throat> uh, this actually appears to be a very small um, of um, tricobalt. Um, a very small amount of tricobalt explosion. Not enough to actually, you know, blow up the ship, thank goodness, but and if, uh, that's what you're picking up, Helsing, is that this uh, is more of a Federation-style explosive. So that would be very similar to what we might have left on the Hobbit ship? Uh, very similar, yes. Captain, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> wrong universe <laughs> doesn't make sense we had the signs earlier of that same ship and we left the tricobalt type device on it can we get scans of the area and search for um, the same because I know like the ship that decloaked the uh, dreadnought mm -hmm. um, seemed to be like that was not the cause because we just found out like right at the end that that was not necessarily the cause of the radiation that we were detecting that is um, right so can we get uh, sensors um, in the median area if we're still detecting concentrated? Of course. Radiation. Uh, Lieutenant, you'll see, you'll find that the the markers for that scan under the file Hobbit ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, cut to the bridge and we do our scans. Helsing is there. Loxley is back there as necessary okay so we're doing a sensors plus science 
if you could please, Miss Vayud. Vayad. All right. Oh wait, sensors uh, plus science. Sense, or, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that's the ship. Uh, <laughs> insight plus science. Ship can assist with sensors plus science. This will be a difficulty of two. Uh, I didn't catch the uh, attribute. Uh, Which attribute? Insight science and Got sensor it. science for the ship. Difficulty of two. Uh-huh. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> oh, no. So what the... Um, so you're receiving a significant amount of interference, and it appears that the um, Nalu Dreadnought has just begun emitting a weapons jamming field as it begins to power up theirs. Um... <clears throat> Uh, Ensign uh, Vault or Mr. Helsing, uh, you are receiving a hail from the Nalu Dreadnought. Nighthawk, what can we do for you, Nalu Dreadnought? Uh, uh, where are we here? We are. I have a heck of a lot of backgrounds. There we go. <clears throat> So it uh, the image on screen is that of a female, <clears throat> as all Nalu positions of power are. Uh, she is swimming in uh, briny water, and her crest is that of a fully extended. Um, uh, what's the fle what's the term for it? Sort of a sail. Beautiful plumage. Yeah, it would be plumage if it was avian, but it's <laughs> reptilian, so... Yeah, I can't sail. think of what that would technically call. Let's just call it a sail um, in full uh, war readiness. The anger is quite palpable on her eyes. Uh, they are emitting small bolts of electricity that discharge harmlessly into the water. You will... Ex Once again, you will explain to me why... Stop, you stop, 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 stop. You can explain to us why we had an explosion on our ship, killing our captain. And our ambassador. And our captain. Perhaps captain. Or are you not the cap? No, you're not the captain, are you? The blue one <laughs> is. You're the commander. I'm Commander Shulu. And I think it's best that we turn our attention to the real perpetrators of this scheme, which is the Kasala. They lured us, they lured both your captain and my ambassador into private chambers and then murdered them. That's the only way that makes sense. No, nope. we'll invite you over as, as well and show you some of the readings that we're getting that doesn't match anything associated Last time we beamed someone over there, they didn't come back. Captain, I'm Commander, on screen. <laughs> on screen. <laughs> and I step away from the... <laughs> from the desk. <laughs> and I point Loxley over to take over the station, and I say, excuse me, Captain, and I walk off the bridge. We've both lost people today with unexplained incident. Please stand down until we can at least investigate the situation. She narrows her eyes very well. Captain, the fa our Fathomess is going to be requesting a status update in two of your Earth hours. You have then, you have until then to find some evidence. If not, I will have orders to destroy whatever is here to send a statement. I will report to you in two hours, or you can have me personally. <laughs> she smiles. She sort of smiles like a shark smiles at a disabled fish. Very well, Captain. Or Commander. Right, because you're not the captain yet. You're still acting captain. <clears throat> acting captain. Yes, you are. Very well, Commander. If you if you do not have answers within two hours, 
<laughs> the Fathomess is a carnivorous creature. And with that, she um, terminates the contact, or she terminates the connection, and her ship depowers the, uh, the electronic warfare system. And uh, as soon as she locks off, I'll go, and she can bite me. Uh, okay, people, uh, we need answers. We have time limit now of two hours. And Helsing comes walking back up on the bridge. It's holding his hand that you can tell it's already, he must have hit something. <laughs> All right, Commander, we have two hours to figure out what happened to their ambassador and or someone's going to pay the price. I need answers. So uh, I can I'm going to make this an extended task. Okay. Um, this is going to be a work track. Uh, work track of, of 18. Difficulty of four. It's going to have a resistance of two. And it will be a magnitude of three. <clears throat> uh, so things that can work in your favor will be um, uh, see, uh, forensic analysis. So, you know, examining the station, the, the station explosion, the explosion on, in the ready room, that sort of stuff. Uh, you could look at the bodies themselves. So medic or medicine or science in that case. And um, yeah, anything else you think you could throw at this problem, I will probably find a role for it. Okay. Um, right now, the station is not my biggest concern um, because we've already decided that it, this situation, we do not need, it wasn't connected um, officially. Um, so I would like, um, our wonderful doctor to, uh, get a thorough, um, report on the bodies. Okay. Um, <laughs> I want an autopsy done on the captain. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. I, but yeah, I would like to get a thorough scan of the bodies. Um, and uh commander helsing i want a full forensic team on the explosive and who would have access aboard the ship to explosives um obviously that would not be something that would be lying around and second of all like i would assume your security staff would possibly be the most would have access to it and basically to make sure all of our explosives are accounted for. Okay. And science officer, I would like to see um, an analyzation of if you can find any sort of DNA evidence um, in the ready room that isn't Andorian, a tr uh, Betazoid or uh, the Grawl. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so who is going to start off here? Um, um, you should also have max momentum. So six momentum total there, Thishran. Um, Yaz on the security staff has investigation as a focus. Okay. Okay. So we can run that, and I'll send Loxley to go check on the explosives. Okay. And either um, the captain or Thashran could take on uh, Coox to run medical. Okay. Sure, so, I can do that. All right. So um, it sounds like Helsing's doing stuff first, so let's have a reason security, please. Or Yaz. And this, will, this will be for Yaz, reason security. Mm-hmm. And I will up his reason by one because this is an activate. Okay. And um, 
one person can always assist. So whoever wants to assist uh, Yas may do so. And I'm going to give me a momentum for a third die. Okay. And this is the forensics analysis, correct? Correct. Okay. Oof. Oof. Okay. I don't need threat here, apparently. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, unless Yas has a value he can blow to re-roll those zeros. Or if someone wants to assist and roll a crit. Actually, he does. Ah. The answer is out there. Uh, nice. Literally, yeah. It's over there, over there, a little bit on the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> uh, and we'll re-roll those two. Okay. Okay, so that is three successes. Uh, who wants to assist Yas? Uh, there should be a few supporting uh, characters that can do that. Can no, Helsing... I, uh... I was going to say, okay. I don't help. yeah, can Helsing, like, because that's his team? Or we got Loxley doing something yeah. else. Yeah, I was going to say, I can go grab Hanara and yeah. probably... Yeah, go ahead and do Hanara. Go yeah, Hanara can help out. Sure, let's have Hanara assist. And she could have a get at her an investigation for him. Now you got me calling her. Him or her. Sorry, him. <laughs> I know he looks like a lioness, but he's a cougar. <laughs> okay, well, that's the four successes you need. Okay, so the forensics analysis of the explosive and the um, sensors, reading the sensors just before it went off. So um, the first thing is that the sensors do not register the explosive until it is roughly uh, five nanoseconds before it explodes. So this thing, how it got in the captain's room is uncertain. Uh, the shields were up and neither the Nalu or the uh, Kasala are known to have transported technology. But the explosive device, uh, it does appear to be Federation uh, tricobalt explosives, um, usually known, f uh, usually with the power to crack a bunker, which is roughly the same density as an outer sh outer starship hull, and it was enough to literally um, kill the captain and his companions. Um, the problem is, is that despite the uh, blast pattern, the bodies aren't where the bodies were not found in a in a position or in a state that would um, suggest being close to a high yield explosive. They are more or less intact, despite the fact that they were so close to a bomb that was enough to blow open a starship hull. Um, there's enough of them yeah. left, basically, yeah. that, like, there's, you know, they, if it was at his desk, there should be a lot less captain. <laughs> and if I could ask, um, yeah, uh, Helsing, if you could roll me six challenge dice, please. Roger that. Just to see how much work actually gets made. Wow. Not bad. That's uh, eight successes. Uh, with the resistance of uh, two, that's six successes. That is still enough for a breakthrough. And I think I've just given it to you. So now it is now a... That knocks the work track down to 12. Difficulty of three. And a magnitude of two. A uh, question for the science officer, Lieutenant Valiant. Is yes. it possible to transport within... We have our shields up. Can we we can still transport within the ship and within the shields? Correct. 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 So. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> Captain, that still remains a possibility. Could you run as part of your investigations if we could run transporter logs to see if any type of transporters on board the ship or transporter was used 
in any way transport a residue. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a Vayed type task. Uh, so this will be insight plus insight or reason. Um, let's do reason science, please. Um, difficulty of three. And in this instance, either another science or engineering officer could assist or the ship could assist with sensors wow. plus science. Or I sensors very, engineering, actually. Either or. I know a very good science officer that can help. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, would yeah. hacking your computers help with this, uh, mm. since it's transporter? Um, not in this instance, I'm afraid. Okay. Yeah. Sensors? I don't have sensors. Uh, yeah. so, okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the captain also happens to be a former science officer who might be able to assist. Either or. Yeah, that was who I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one success from Vaid. Oh, it's making me rethink my focuses. I mean, I will allow a free respec after the first session just in case things don't go as planned. But... Okay, uh, two successes. That is not enough. Um, actually, I need threat, so I'll take that threat. Uh, I will let that succeed at cost. Thank you. That was my next suggestion. Because you started with all that momentum, and I did not have a lot of threat, so thank you. Okay. You the captain with threat. Yeah, I did. And I'd do it again. <sighs> so, um, if uh, Ved, if you could please roll me seven challenge dice, please. All right. Oh no, I don't have that stuff on my thing. Yeah, yeah it's it's on the gear icon of roll twenty, or not the gear, the um, second from the right. The oh, the macro. Yeah, the macros tab. Got it. So the challenge dice and system hit are the ones that I really need. Yes. Really, really, you don't need system <laughs> hit either. System hit, yeah. Challenge oh, okay. die. Yeah. Uh, and you want seven, please. If you have any tasks that help extend, or any focuses that help extended tasks, now's the time to make them known. Okay. Ooh. So that is seven with resistance of two. You get five off the work track, which will be enough for another breakthrough. So give me a second here. Difficulty of two. Okay. So. Um, Testing of theory or intense scrutiny, I believe. Ooh, either of those could work. Um, I don't suppose either of us remember what they do. Um, That's what I'm about to do. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Testing a theory. Uh, when you attack a task with engineering or science. Okay, so that's any task, apparently. You can roll one additional <laughs> d20 as long as you succeeded at a previous task covering the same scientific or technological field. So, okay, nope. So not that one. Not that one. Uh, intense scrutiny. Whenever you succeed a task using reason or control, which is neither of these. Uh, this was... Ah. In, nope, this was reason. My apologies. Uh, for an extended task, you may ignore up to two resistance for every effect rolled. So, okay. So that is seven successes, I should say. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, what you realize is that the tra ship's transporter systems were not activated, nor were they, nor do you see the typical transporter effects or the particles that they leave behind. However, you do detect that the area around the ready room is, cover is uh, covered in the uh, nadion neutrino particles that you had detected earlier. Um, also, with uh, such a uh, with your successes, you do re um, you're able to see that for a split second. Um, so there's about five microseconds before the sensors detect the bomb and the bomb goes off. Um, with at four sec or four microseconds, the captain disappears. At two microsecond, the captain reappears then boom. I should also mention that this is the same for the others that were in the room. 
So, um, let's go down to Coox in sickbay. All right. Uh, so, this is going to be... Roll me a control plus medicine, please. What's um, the difficulty? Difficulty, this part of the extended task, so this will be a difficulty of two. And if okay. someone wants to come in with a support character for medicine, or the ship could ship could assist with computers medicine either, either or uh i guess would either well i guess xenobiology or emergency xenobiology uh afraid not in this not in either case okay <clears throat> then i'll go ahead and spend, send a spend a momentum okay get to <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> wow. I have. I don't think I've seen. <coughs> Mr. Coox, what have you been drinking? Okay. He's all shook up over the captain. He's all, yeah, the captain. The ca it hurt him. That it hurt him seven, bad. That's a 17, he's, a 20, and an 18. He's holding a, oof, holding a foot, trying to see if that's the right. No, that's not his foot. Okay. Oh, so. This one's blue. <laughs> well, good thing you have a staff to. Uh... Take care yeah. of this competency right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as a complication, um, Mr. Coox, you're invest. You think you're on the right path to something as you perform an autopsy. Um, you realize really quickly that you've gone down the wrong path, um, whatever path that may be. Um, this is less a, this is less an autopsy, more of a desecration by this point. Um, yeah, that. That captain's corpse is actually no longer usable for any medical investigation. Um, you're, uh, what do you mean the hip? What do you mean the hip bone's not connected to the ankle? So that oh. is, I think we are. This is four, te four tests or three? We're three. Uh, so you have now complete. Uh, so this investigation so far has taken up one hour. Of. Uh, so, you have. How else do you wish to proceed? You could try medics. You could try examining this again. I should also mention that you still have the corpse of the. Uh, yeah, I. Well, a yeah, I'll probably try again on the. Well, well, that was on the corpse of the captain, right? So how about if yeah. I did on the uh, corpse Maybe. of. Uh... Sure. You. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'll yeah. say. Even, even the chief engineer can do. So you can either do it on the ambassador's corpse or a pair of her bodyguards. Phrasing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me just pull this up again. All right. All right. Spend momentum again. Okay. Let's try. Okay, that's there a go. pretty good one. Um, if anyone wants to assist, they can. Uh, so far, that is one momentum right back to you. <laughs> I'll uh, go ahead and assist with Zot. Okay. Would, um, you said emergency medicine doesn't count here, right? No. Would regenerative medicine count? Trying to regenerate a clue that may possibly be left on this corpse or any other random microbes that were found in the uh, during the ready room explosion, whether I... they be bodily or chemical? I'll let the regenerative medicine work in this case, sure. All righty then. Control medicine? Uh, control medicine, yes. And that's one more momentum. Uh, Kala, if you could please roll me seven challenge dice, please. Okay. Well, that's... Um, so, uh. resistance of two, so that is three left. You could spend momentum to get rid of the resistance. Sure, yeah, well, I might as well do that. We okay. have time to time momentum. And that is enough to complete the work track. So you have successfully completed the um, the task, a lot, the extended task of the investigation. So um, the bodies that you begin look that um, you begin looking at, they are simulacrum for lack of a better term they're very good simulacrum but like they like the shran's um 
uh, Ushan scars are uh, perfectly with his are still right there uh, as is the precise gene mixing between the captain's trill and beta Z heritages and but you really haven't had a chance to look at a um, Nalu close up before so you really can't tell but so you're going to act you're going to act on one other instinct based on what everyone else is knows and I'll give this one to you because you've completed it so the quantum signature of the corpses are different than the quantum signature inherent to the universe huh All right. All right. Is there any way for us to pinpoint that quantum signature? Well, that's a very good question. But to do that, we're going to cut scenes. So, Captain, um, you are having the most weirdest of dreams at this point in time. Um, you are standing <coughs> on top of the USS Nighthawk. There are... It is... It has a three sails on it, uh, two main masts, and one of the triangle sails up at the front, because I don't know what that's called. And you are currently steering her from the quarter deck, a traditional uh, wooden wheel up top. It is pitch black, and you are trying to anticipate where the waves are coming from to brace the ship as it begins rocking back and forth. You are finally starting to get the hang of it when the wind whistles around your face and it is loud you think you hear voices and then the voices all fade away and just it sounds like a siren's call just at the um just at the far uh the faintest that you could possibly hear it when all of a sudden after what seems like hours of dealing with this whispering whistling wind on this black sea uh there is a thunder um there ah sorry there is a lightning bolt that crackles across the sky lighting it up perfectly for a nanosecond and as your maritime instincts start counting down between lightning and thunder to determine how far away the lightning is the thunder crashes against your subconscious a uh, female voice shouts Captain, wake up! And you find yourself here. <clears throat> it is a sanitary... It is a f medical facility, that much is certain. And it is so clear and so clean that you can see your the uh, reflection of yourself off any of the walls you look at. Uh, you are currently lying down. Uh, you are not wearing your Starfleet uniform anymore. You are only wearing a white bodysuit. So you have no equipment, no comm badge, no nothing. All right, well, I'd like to uh, try to closer examine my surroundings. Am I, not, am I restrained? Uh, you are... Uh, you move a little bit. You feel a little bit of a restraint, but as soon as it, as soon as you push against it, it dissipates. All right. Well, I'd like to uh, get up from whatever I was lying on and try to explore this room a little bit more. Okay. So the first thing you see is a, what closest description I have is a Bacta tank, uh, and inside is a uh, Lieutenant Commander Thashran. Uh, he has. Uh, various tubes inserted into many of his orifices, and he's wearing a similarly white bodysuit to yours. Uh, he is unconscious, and it appears that from the way that his body is moving, it appears that he is breathing. <clears throat> Can I make a check to determine if there possibly be any other uh, medical conditions with him, just uh, by glancing? To um, see if there's a, yes. Just to make sure there isn't any deeper damage. Uh, yes, this will be a, well, we, um, this is going to be an insight medicine, and because you're doing it with haste, I will spend a threat to increase the difficulty to three, so, insight medicine, difficulty three. 
Okay then. Okay. Uh, as far as you can tell, Thishran seems to be in as good health as you. Um, the biomonitors that you see around him are... Half of them were indicating um, uh, your bio-readings. The other half appear to be indicating his. Can I... I want to move closer to these monitors, and I want to see if I can determine the design of them. Uh, okay. If there's any specific uh, uh, alien language or design uh, concept that seems familiar to me. Okay. Um, this is going to be a... So as you get closer to it, you realize that the desks and the monitors are built for creatures roughly half your height. Um, so uh, insight plus con, uh, please, difficulty of two. Would investigation or pattern recognition apply here? I would definitely say that one or both of them will, yes. Okay, then. <clears throat> okay. So, um, while you don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of every uh, species out there, the writing does not seem familiar. Um, the closest that this could come to, at least for size-wise, could be Tellarites, but you would know their language at least what it looks like. This is more of a... Uh, it's a fairly intricate language based on what you're able to discern. And at the moment, it is it is what it is. It looks like it is analyzing uh, medical data. I'd like to look for a way to disconnect uh commander thishan and i want to make sure if i do that and if he's in good health that he doesn't get transferred to someplace else i don't want this uh tank to like sweep him under the floor or something oh, if idea. i also want to do i also want to make sure doing that without uh alerting possibly any other uh you know Whatever. automated systems right mm -hmm. okay this is going to be a let's do a control engineering to ensure that Helsing or that the Shran will stay where he stays. Oh God, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, difficulty of two. Good luck. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, so you start pushing, or you start investigating the module you don't see any manual locking mechanisms um, as you look at it you do see that the tank appears to be removable so it was brought from somewhere and inserted or it will be removed and stored somewhere so chances of the shran being swept away unlikely but that's all you can figure out okay then well Sorry, buddy, but I don't want to disconnect you just yet. Um, <laughs> I want to see if I could uh, determine exactly what's beyond this room. Okay. Uh, so there is currently uh, three doors. Uh, the doors are, despite the room being sized more or less for a uh, typical humanoid height, the ceilings would be about seven feet off the ground. Uh, the doors are much smaller, uh, about four or five feet. You'd have to crouch to get through them. Um, and it's, so because you did not do so well with your engineering task, one of them begins opening up. And this little guy, that did not do what I wanted it to do, this little guy wanders through, sees you, and his, um, deep black eyes flash white for a split second. And the automated systems that were above your bio bed immediately retract into the ceiling. Okay, well, I'm still going to assume that right now I've been abducted. And even if the Shan is in the picture of good health, I want to make sure that I'm going to get my officer out of here. So I want to attempt to restrain this person and then release the Shan. Okay, uh, so it is a... So the creature is about three feet tall. 
Uh, it has an oblong shaped gray head with deep or with two large black eyes. Um, no obvious protrusion for a nose, although you do see a slit where its nose would be, as well as a tiny uh, hole which where the mouth would be. Uh, it is not wearing any clothing, and you can see that is its physical frame is quite frail. Uh, it's long. Its arms are fairly are fairly long compared to typical humanoids, and its legs are fairly lengthy as well. So it doesn't have much of a torso. <clears throat> it is for anyone listening and putting things together. Yes, they are the gray aliens of, you know, pop culture. Cause I wanted to find them a home, and here they are. Okay, so you're going to. Uh, subdue him. So this is going to be a daring plus uh, security test, please. And he will he will oppose. Mm. All right then. Uh... I actually, write his stats in. Okay. Well. You want me to wait no. to roll then? Nope. Feel free to roll. I have them on paper here. I'll just roll 2d20. Okay. I'm going to spend the momentum for this. Sure thing. I should also mention that this was a scene change, so you lose one anyways. Okay. So, you have the complication. Uh, he is. He has one success. So do you. Uh, but you have a complication in the matter, so I'm just going to say that it, it that despite your initial attempts to grapple him, for a short stubby creature, it can really move, and it evades your blows really quickly. <clears throat> Quick determination, though. Even if he is uh, evading me, it mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily seem like. He's armed or he has a physical stature to match me. No, so, God, no. You could kick him uh, like a soccer ball. All right, then. Well, I'm not going to play Ring Around the Rosie with the with the unknown and forever. I'm still going to attempt to release the Shran while I still have time. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, he is going to do something. As it would be his turn in the initiative. Will it work? Oh, that's a crit success. Okay. Uh, that was that. <clears throat> so, uh, without, or once he's stopped um, evading your attack, uh, he locks eyes with you briefly, and his, your psychic sense, um, it's like staring into a oncoming car with its high beams on in pitch black so whatever this thing is is its psychic presence is nuts and you will take uh, four points of stress as it attempts to incapacitate you with its mind thankfully you are uh, slightly um, you have telepathic training and whatnot you're able to push past it All right. Well, so it's my turn, turn again in initiative. Yeah. I still want to uh, go get my boy out of here. Okay. Um, daring engineering. If you want to s try to get him out using, um, you know, the console, or daring plus security. If you want to go the more dramatic route. Or go the dramatic route. <laughs> yeah. well, we, we tried the we tried the Starfleet officer way. Now it's time of the. Uh, time to try the uh, escape gray alien way. Fair enough. Ooh. Well, that's one success, but because you were doing security, it would have been difficulty one because you pick up a chair and you smash it into the glass. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, Commander Thish Lieutenant Commander Thishran... Um, you, at one moment, you were sitting or standing in the captain's ready room discussing um, evidence and the possible cooperation with the Nalu ambassador. Uh, the next, you awaken 
in a tube of unknown liquid with a breathing mask and various uh, sampling needles in your stuck into various orifices that are best left undiscussed. I knew uh, we were getting along fine, but I don't think we're quite ready to jump into the uh, full aquatic environment just yet. Did you say I'm, I'm broken out now? Yep, you are You are fully conscious. Um, you'll have to rip the tubes out of you, but um, Captain, as you smash the vial, or as you smash the um, tube, the gray alien um, decides it's better to retreat through one of the uh, apertures. For sake of it, we'll call it the leftmost aperture. So I'll, I'll finally make my way out of the, uh, the tank and ask, if I, Captain, what what's going on? Where where are we? I don't know, Commander, but uh, we're not where we started. As far as I can tell in the minimal information that I've gathered, that uh, we've been taken to where I'm not quite sure. Huh. Can I... Are there terminals in the room that I can try to look through and see if I can find, dig for more information? There is uh, quite a significant amount of terminals. Um, you are welcome to do so. So this is going to, uh, if you're going to stick around, this is going to be a daring plus a daring plus engineering, since I'm assuming you don't want to stay here very long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, daring engineering, uh, because it's an alien system, this is going to be a difficulty of three. Okay. Uh, let's try to anything parks here. Power, cultural studies, technology. Uh, okay. Um, so I'll go ahead and spend momentum to get. It. Okay. Okay. Not well, quite. Not quite. Uh, you are able to discern that these are. You're definitely not on any Federation or known species uh, system. Uh, it has, this appears to be a fair, an isolated medical uh, system that doesn't directly tie into any uh, command and control or engineering features. In fact, it just seems to interface with a large library slash database. Um, you, as you have worked with this type of system before, you are able to link to see similarities with the Trapper Sphere that you guys ran into uh, several months back. But that system proved, well, you did get some information from it, but it's not that helpful at this point in time because, well, you just woke up and are still figuring things out. And are probably still dripping wet. Yeah, there's that. Thankfully, doesn't you... help my mood too much. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Um, and you said we have no equipment. That is correct. All right. Well, Captain, I was unable to find out too much other than to confirm where we know that this doesn't match any um, any technology that we're experienced with, other than a faint resemblance to the. Um, sorry, which the other one was again? The the uh, trapper the sphere. Yeah, the trapper sphere. Yeah, um, before. So. I guess we can either try to sneak out or wait around. What is your preference? I'm not waiting around for these things to enjoy themselves. We're, uh, see if you could find ourselves a map. And I don't know if you could jury rig any of these other medical equipments that we could use, at least in personal defense. We don't want to hurt these people too badly. But at the same time, I'm not really pension on being taken again okay <clears throat> let's get out of here all right uh is this something i can i can try to do jerry some of this stuff um yeah uh, jerry rig would work quite well in this instance uh so oh, this okay. is going to be a daring engineering task yep. um this will just be difficulty one because well despite them looking different a sick bay is a sick bay Okay, well, Jerry Rig will reduce the difficulty by two, so down oh, to zero. Okay, difficulty zero. Oh, good. More yep. momentum then. Okay, so you get two more momentum out of the deal. Um, you each get, I will s classify them as type one phasers. Um, 
Um, however, because they're jury rigged, they will have a complication range of 19 to 20. Okay. So I'll just start, start ripping all the guts and uh, putting together things in the tank and said, oh, here you go, Captain. I managed to um, improvise um, some nice little, a nice little surprise for the next uh, aliens that we, we run into. And on that note, the door that the alien ran out of in walks this thing. Uh, whoops, helps if I was on the right layer. It stands about four feet tall, so it's still smaller than you guys. Uh, it is obviously artificial. Uh, it is uh, it is bipedal, and where the aliens had um, spindly arms and legs, this thing does not. It begins to... Uh, there appear, um, as it raises one of its arms, a, it looks like it is going to make a ranged attack. All right. I guess I'll start fire, and then I started firing. Okay. Yep. Good guys go first, so each of you can take a shot. Well, actually, one of you goes, and then it goes, and right. then the other one goes. Uh, so ranged attacks are control plus security, difficulty of two. You want to go first or should I? <laughs> By all means, go ahead. All right. Control plus engineering. While oh, you do shoot at them, while yep. you do shoot at this drone, I will yell starfleet platitudes at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, mm. well, um, okay. So you remember that phaser you had? Yeah. Uh, it begins whining ver in a very... Um, uh, a sound that every Starfleet officer has been trained to fear as it begins to go into overload. Uh, please roll me a daring plus security, please. Difficulty one. Ooh. All right. Ooh, okay. Um, do you want to spend that one momentum and I'll tell you something cool that happens? Sure. You throw the overloading thing at the drone. Just as planned. Uh, just as planned. Uh, roll me four challenge dice, please. Okay. Not a heck of a lot. It doesn't do a heck of a lot of damage to the drone. Barely scuffs its pristine armor. But it does what it does, and it attempts to rebuke. Uh, it begins speaking uh, in a tone that, in a language that you're not familiar with. Ooh, that's a hit. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's see what it does against Mr. The Shran. Hmm, sheet's been updated. Interesting. Uh, roll this. Uh, Thashran, you take two dam or you take two stress from a fairly weak uh, energy weapon that emanates from its arm. It doesn't do a lot, but you do feel the arm temporarily go numb. Ah, oh, son of a. Uh, Captain Sangral, it does not appear to respond to any of your uh, Starfleet platitudes. Shame. Well. Quite. I did try the, uh, you know, Federation, mean you know who I am, tell me where we are, and you won't be harmed. But, uh, it as, as I'm like, shooting at them? As you're shooting at them, yes. Yeah. But, I, you know, I gotta try. <laughs> Even if it's not the most opportune of moments, I'm mm -hmm. gonna go shoot the drone. Alright, uh, control security. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, so roll me however many challenge dice. A, I think that's one or that's two challenge dice with. Uh, let's see. So two plus your security challenge dice. So six challenge dice, please. Ooh, nice. Oh. 
Okay. And similarly, um, so you do a good amount of damage to it, um, but you also hear your medical device be, your impromptu device start whining in a similar fashion. So roll me daring fitness, please. Or I'm sorry, roll me daring plus security, please. Difficulty one. <clears throat> Nice. Uh, okay, you probably should have rolled a second dice, but that's more than enough. So that's one extra oh, momentum. <laughs> and uh, uh, six, or roll me, uh, let's see, because he got hurt and took the injury, that'll take more damage now for the grenade. Please uh, roll me six challenge dice. Well, that's... Well, that's barely enough um, because of the vicious one of the grenade. Yeah. Uh, the drone attempts to take one step forward, um, realizes that its leg is damaged far too late, and collapses on the deck. All right. Well, that turned out not too bad, except for us losing our impromptu weapons. Can I try? Well uh uh salvaging okay uh if you want to spend the time to salvage now's the t uh that'll be a daring engineering chest um difficulty of two okay. can we not salvage on the move um f if someone wants to try to carry the darn thing sure uh well if it's too heavy then other then probably not yeah but... it's despite its size it is fairly dense i mean the only problem is if we if we don't salvage from it, we have no weapons. That is true. Go ahead. We have my All right. Okay. All right. I will spend a, a momentum. Okay. Uh... All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So one more momentum from that. Okay, congratulations. You guys get yourself, um, well, you guys succeeded well enough. I'll give you each a functional ionizer beam, which is, uh, it deals uh, two challenge dice worth of damage. It's energy and is non-lethal. Well, so, again. That, Captain, the, uh, the, the birth of Santa Claus came early this Well, if I ever actually meet Mr. Santa Claus, I have a few things to say to him. Mostly, I mean, I know he likes to keep lists and he wants to check them twice, but he can at least ask me before he takes me to the North Pole. I well, swear, that's... you and your human holidays. Yeah. Let's not look look at any uh, any gift on Houston. Why don't we take, take this and uh, keep moving? Agreed. Take a porthole. Okay. Uh, le uh, right or center? Uh, I thought you said there were three. There are three, but I'm assuming you don't want to run through the one that the drone literally just came through. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to kill them all and take over the entire ship. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, right one. Right one, okay. Okay, so... Captain... or Singral and Thishrad. Uh You make your way down... Uh, hunched through a narrow, uh, fairly short corridor, which, and as the uh, the lights of the ship have changed from white to red, and you duck into the following room, which is this one. Uh, you burst into a lab that. Uh, the Shred, you recognize this sort of lo uh, studying lab from your time with the spheres. With the time with the sphere. Ca last time, Captain, you were inside one of these tubes. Uh, there are several tubes lined up, uh, each containing a uh, an individual floating in suspended animation. Uh, Captain and the Shred, you recognize several of these uh, individuals as members of your crew. Uh, there are also three of these um, 
alien creatures that are uh, poking and prodding at them with uh, some uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for uh, you know how in how handling dangerous materials on um, the Simpsons they've been shown to like w manipulate them with rubber gloves that go inside the contaminated area something similar to that just with more needles Okay, am I uh, getting a... Do I, do I still feel the uh, endless void that I got from that first gray uh, in that other room? From mm, these guys? They're not directing their t intelligence at you right now, but you do sense that they are very powerful. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and relay that quickly to Fashan while once we see them, and we keep our hushed voices, and I'll also mention that because of that, I'd like to find a way to take care of them all at once if possible. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Well, before we could worry about what yeah. seems to be the rest of our crew, we definitely just have to incapacitate them. All and right. since, since they're considerably strong psychics, it needs to be all in one shot. All right. So I guess we'll start lining up our shots and then uh, try to take Okay, so um, an aim minor action, I believe. Well, before we start shooting, um, are there any? I want to see if we could use the environment. Are there any like power conduits that like go underneath where these uh, unknown un aliens are possibly standing? Or if you spend two momentum, you can create that advantage. I'd love to. Okay. So, um, Thashran, your keen engineering brilliance has determined where the central power uh, distribution node is for this room. And you think you can knock out at least two of them with a successful strike against that power node. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I guess I'll start aiming for that and we're going to, I guess, I'll fire at that while you fire one of the... Sounds like a win. Okay. Right. Uh, control... Uh, control security from each of you, and I believe the aim minor action will allow you to either add a third die or re-roll. Let me check. Uh, you may, re yeah, so you may re-roll a single d20 made on an attack. Okay. Does... Would hazard awareness work for, as a focus for this, or is it not? Yeah, I'd say hazard awareness works in this incident. In this okay. instance, I'd still assume that undercover operations or pattern yeah. recognition will work in this instance. Either would work, and that's a lot of successes for both of you. So, well, he hasn't um, rolled yet. Oh, did he? No. Oh, you rolled. Not. Why? Oh no, cap. No, no. So, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I blinked, and there were things. Yeah, so Thashran, you've successfully knock or hit your target. Uh, not yet with uh, the captain, but the captain can re-roll that 1d20. I'd love to. Control security. Okay. Still not, I'm afraid. Okay. So the um, with the Shran, your box attack uh, hits hits the junction perfectly, and electric arcs uh, surge underneath the floor, causing uh, two of the aliens. I'll just say these two to um, collapse in in seizures, and then whether they're asleep or dead is very difficult to determine at this stage. Uh, Thashra, or Captain Singral, however, you are distracted momentarily by the blast, and your shot goes wide. Uh, the third one, the other one turns, uh, its eyes flash white, and it will begin to do something. Not with those rolls, it won't. <laughs> Um, each of you feels a, a minor pressure against your temples, but that's but you shake. You're you're far too pissed off right now to 
acknowledge that is going on. So either one of you wish to respond in kind? All right, I'll shoot again. Okay. Well, that'll mm. not going to work, I'm afraid. Okay. I just want to double check something really quickly here because I don't think I wrote this down right. Yeah. Okay. It's going to try this again. Apparently, it's not having a good day. It's just been thoroughly distracted by the sudden forced unconsciousness that you have inflicted upon its foe, on its uh, partners. Um, Captain Singral. Well, I'd like to Flippy. try... Yep, actually, right. no. I was, I was thinking out loud I wanted to close the distance, and then I remembered how squirrely they are, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just uh, shoot my gun. Oh, oh wow okay <laughs> i mean the equivalent of like a re but noodle fight yeah you're uh, <laughs> uh it's you're still getting the hang of the of your ionizer guns and it is confused as to why it's being shot at by its own security drone's arms uh, it's turn nope <laughs> All right. It begins... It's like a slap fight. Yeah. 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 It's and it begins to try to make its way out the door, but it's not going to make it this round. So, Thishran. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, roll me two challenge dice plus your security. Security of four, so six. six. Five points. Okay. Considering it has zero resistance and just because it is frail. Yeah, it is. It immediately falls unconscious. It's head hitting the deck in a bit of a splut. I blow the imaginary uh, smoke off my weapon and say, look. Well, I'm going to quickly close the distance <laughs> and uh, trying not to... Uh be too disrespectful to these aliens but I still don't want to move them aside and uh, see what the information on the panels are like with, with our crew members okay um, this is going to be so roll me uh, insight plus medicine please uh, difficulty of three because uh, difficulty two because I don't have the threat right now to boost that well, I do I just have Uh, would you want a medically related focus or? Yeah, rest of mine? if you have uh, investigation or pattern recognition would help here. Okay, okay. Uh, that's enough. So you're able to figure out how. So uh, looking at these consoles, they are definitely analyzing something out of each of them. <laughs> um, what is interesting is you're beginning to pick up like the similarities and the differences. Um, looking at the individuals floating in the tank, like they at first look like they are your crew, but on, on a closer investigation, there are subtle differences that indicate that they're not. <clears throat> um, for example, the males have beards. And the... Um, the chief science or the chief science officer um, would a uh, miss a uh, vetted be a, rel a religious type would she yes. have her earring? all right yes she would she would be uh, this one is wearing her earring on the other ear and there's no obvious difference at the moment right now with Nadan uh, ambassador assembly however is what you recognize as you get closer to her you realize that she is unconscious but you still feel the psychic presence uh, inside her mind. Then I'd like to try, attempt to connect with her. 
Okay. Um, I will allow this just to happen for story purposes. It's very faint, but you recognize her as the individual who woke you from your comatose state. Um, she's not very communicative, but she's response. Captain, you're awake. Good. Help. And then I won't utter another word. I'll just go ahead and do so. I want to make sure I can still attempt to repair this relationship with one species today. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thashrad, what are you up to? Uh, I'll probably help the captain with that. Okay. Um, control plus engineering. Or daring plus engineering if you don't care if these things get damaged in the process. Yeah, who cares? We don't have time for that. We're in a hostile environment. Fair enough. Uh, daring uh this will be a difficulty of two Correct. it would have been difficulty three but you don't care if they're damaged so no. that's not enough but the captain could assist uh captain if you could do a daring engineering test please to assist good luck daring engineering Hmm. Wow. Uh, I wonder if I... Hmm, should I spend a determination? Oh, uh, Thishran, didn't you have daring? Or didn't you have, like, bold talent? Oh, I do. Uh... Oh, wait, that's when you buy with threat. My bad. Yeah. Right. Um... I forgot about that. Okay. Well, I'll just say that the task fails now and just sort of mentally move things around in the background while you struggle and figure things out. What if I use a determination? Oh, sure. Uh, so a determination uh, will allow you to re-roll that zero. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll give that a shot. Okay. Um, yeah, it's my value of, um, it's better to be fast than perfect. Sure, this is the perfect time for it. There's that okay, success. There you go. <clears throat> um, through a little bit of trial, error, and percussive maintenance, you figure out which um, buttons to push, which uh, pipes to yank, and which control consoles can just be smashed to oblivion. But eventually, all th all of the uh, flasks, tubes, etc., open up, and as their contents drain out, they're these individuals all slump to the deck and slowly wake up. Now, so the rest of you, you're all in this position. Uh, similar, similar situation to the captain. You all have no weapons. Uh, you're only clothed in a white uh, form-fitting bodysuit. I like to motion to the Shran to come next to the the ambassador and cover her other side because I and I'd like to see if I could actually like mentally scan or at least empathically scan rather uh, these people that appear to be the crew since I've already noticed their discrepancies okay mm -hmm. uh, this will be um, presence plus command I says no presence plus con and I will leave it up to the various individuals if they wish to resist with presence plus con um helting will resist he feels the pressure because he's felt that pressure okay. on his mind before okay so uh that would be so, uh, uh, so roll presence plus con please con yeah Okay, so you need to meet or beat two successes in order to successfully resist. Uh, you need to roll twice. Oh, I'll yeah. roll one more time. Yes, please. <clears throat> Some reason I thought I was assisting. Oh, no, you're re resisting. <laughs> resisting, not assisting. It's semantics. Uh, semantics. 
get out of my head. Okay. Uh, yeah, you successfully rebuke the captain's uh, suggestions. Uh, Bashir, Vayed, are either of you going to resist the captain? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, each of you roll me uh, presence plus con uh, two dice. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Vid does not do it. And Bashir does. So, Vaid, if you could just please quickly tell the captain your emotional thoughts, because he is only an empath, not a full telepath. About the current situation? Yeah, pretty much. Um, well, I guess here's a question. Um, these alien creatures, mm -hmm. for us, like... Completely new. You have no idea how... Uh, you were, wherever you were, roughly... Your last memory is you doing something, and then now you're here. Got it. And we didn't see the fight going on beforehand. No, you did not. Uh, she's <laughs> going to be distressed <laughs> because she doesn't have a weapon, and uh, these creatures, she didn't even know what they were. They're like her heart's beating, and she's doing her best to not freak out. <laughs> All right. And Helsing immediately looks for his knife and looks okay. at the white suit. What the? I go up right. Uh, I I go up to Sigral right away and look at him and go, Sigral. I thought I took care of you once, and then deck him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like where this is going already. Uh, daring plus uh, or yeah, daring plus security, please. Uh, and the captain can oppose with daring plus security. Oh, should I? If you want or don't, <laughs> please tell me you don't have mean right just, hook, Bashir. Yeah. <laughs> just let him just. <clears throat> Okay, so that is one success. If the captain chooses to resist. Now, Bashir didn't meet. Uh, he didn't meet my defense, right? Uh, you you have to roll opposed. Oh uh, no, I mean uh, when I was looking, when I was trying to feel his emotions. Oh yeah, he he uh, he resisted your attempts. Okay, well in that case, I'm a little bit off guard, but <laughs> I don't actually think I would uh, I would oppose him. Okay. Uh... Roll me two challenge die, or roll two challenge dice, please, Bashir. Okay. Okay. Uh, Captain, you take one stress, and you are flat on your ass. <laughs> Captain, what is he still doing alive? I don't know. But I can take you. I killed him once. I'll kill him again. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, like cap pressure. Like... Uh, ambass at this point, all of you feel a voice inside your head from the still unconscious ambassador. Enough! Now is not the time for this. He's not your captain, I don't think. He's. These aren't your crew, Captain. They're different. I sense their minds in this tube. I don't know how, why. I don't know why we're here. I don't listen to her. I grab him by the throat. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> now I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> why should the GM I'll, kill I'll the captain? Over why should, the GM... why should he have all the fun? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, sorry, Thishran, what are you up to? I was thinking if the captain's unable to push him off, I'm going to run over and, and uh, tackle, tackle Bashir. Okay. And when I see Thishran go, I say, whoa, 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 when I go after him. <laughs> uh, Vaya, what is it that you wish to be doing, if anything? <laughs> I will be chasing after Sh uh, Shithran? Shran? Sh the Shran, yeah. <laughs> Okay, this sounds like we're going to need initiative. Cool. Yeah, You're, Yeah. you know better to get in between me and Singral. 
<laughs> hey, it sounds like we might die. We might die twice in um, yeah. consecutive sessions. Okay. Man, I only, I only, you were only in there for a month. You're only confined to quarters for a month. You have a replicator and everything. Why so hostile? <laughs> you even left him a smoking jacket. <laughs> Okay, just as a side story, so you know this, in my backstory for this character, on the whole Scorpius, Scorpius thing, you put me in an agonizer. And when I got out, I uh, got with Helsing and I killed you and took over as captain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Bashir is currently the one who wanted to start all this, so... <laughs> You are. You currently have the captain in. Well, he was on the ground, and now he's upright because you're holding him by your neck. Congre holding him by his neck. I, I was going down and holding him down to the ground. Ah, his... a pin. Okay. <laughs> um, daring security, please. And the captain okay. can oppose. I should say that any momentum gained at this point is only going to be usable by yourself. Uh, the captain can oppose. Okay. Slap fight again. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, on a tie, the defender wins. So it's a bit of a slap fight, greased oil wrestling kind of thing. Um, but Captain Singral, you're able to escape him, albeit temporarily. Um, next up is the Shran and or Helsing. Um, I am going to use uh, one of my um, talents. Uh, talents. Yeah, uh, where I oh I didn't put them on here, but it would be the uh, hold on. Let me look up a sheer real quick. Uh, act quick to action. Quick to action. Yes. Ah. And. Uh, I want uh, Helsing to go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Mr. Helsing, wow. what is it you wish to do? Oh, daring security. You want to go ahead and tackle for chance so he doesn't get in there to interfere? Okay. Daring security, and Thashran will also. Uh, Thashran also roll daring security. All right. Uh, I do have focus on melee. Oh, nice. That'll work. Oh, I have martial artist. That'll work too. Uh, uh, you so uh, Thashran, you attempt to uh, n you attempt to get out of his way, but you know there's just no beating a trained security guard at his job. Uh, roll me. Oof, that will be six challenge dice, I believe, for an unarmed strike there, uh, Helsing. Yeah, and I have Martial Artist and Mean Right Hook. Oh, she. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is going to be fun. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. Um, what does Martial Artist do? The character Unarmed Strike gains the intense damage effect. Then both damage... Oh, God, what does Intense do? Uh, that's a new one. It's effects, and he can't use his determination or something like that. Oof. This PvP just got lethal, man. Okay. <laughs> um, martial Artist. Attack Design. Maximum Harm. Uh, cost Avoid and Injury Caused by Intense increases by one for each effect rolled. Oh, boy. The Mean Right, <laughs> mean right Hook is one more damage for each effect. Okay, so that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What's your stress, Bashir? You mean me? Yeah, or, yeah, Thishran, sorry. Uh, I think 12 total. Oh, boy. Okay, <laughs> so uh, you need to you need to spend your determination, otherwise I think you're done. All right. Um, so how should I... What does that give me uh, this case? Yeah, so... Oh, you've already spent your determination. 
Yeah, I used it once. Oh, so I, don't know I won't use mean. I won't use mean right hook. Okay. Still, that's enough for a major injury. Just because I already have to take him out. Yeah. 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 That's all I want to do. Uh, so Bashir, you will take eight point eight stress damage, and you can. Yeah, you're knocked out cold. Okay. I don't uh, want to waste a good engineer. Well, you don't know about this one, but yeah. So I don't know if he's any different. That is true. Uh, we'll use that instead. Okay, uh, Thashran. Something snaps in Thashran, and he just goes down like a sack of potatoes. Um, time for diplomacy, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> you still got the uh, improvised weapon. If we're gonna some aggressive negotiations, I don't think diplomacy works here. No, no, it won't. But but I'm definitely going to uh, use this improvised phaser and immediately shoot uh, whatever this appearance of the share is in front of me. All right. Uh, control I mean, security. <laughs> the share is already on the ground. I can't fucking help him. But uh, maybe I gotta get out of this first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the robot arm is just not cooperating right now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Okay, this might just turn into a Mirrorverse crew. Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, Vyad, anything you want to do? Uh, man. Good question <laughs> because all of this has got me off guard. Uh, she'll, uh, she'll check on the Shran to make sure he's actually out cold. Okay. Uh, that would be a uh, roll control medicine difficulty of one. Well, that's two momentum. And yes, uh, Thashran is out cold. Um, it appears that he, there appears to be a... Um, there's a massive uh, amount of blood. Or Do do they bleed blue? I don't know. Anyways, they whatever color blue. Andoria... Yeah, blue. it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's blue blood. Okay. Uh, there's blue blood pooling from where he was... T from where Helsing... Jackie chanted him in the side of the ribs. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Vaid is going to turn to Helsing and, uh, sir, what is going on? I don't know, but, you know, Captain Grawl's dead. We killed him back on the Nighthawk. I don't know what's going on until we get him down and under control, but then we'll figure it out. Captain? Is there any sort of uh, anything ground, like like a metal chunk or something like that? Uh, considering the methods that were used by well, uh, yeah. the Shran to get you out, yes, there is a significant amount of detritus. I'm going to grab two sharp pieces of metal, mm -hmm. um, like the uh, blades. Okay. And uh, I basically say, come at me, pink skin. <laughs> Don't forget, my gun's also in the ground, too. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to do this personal. He's a knife fighter. <laughs> That's a, I'll, st I'll stand my ground. I just, like I said, I've grabbed two pieces of metal, like the, like the blades, and then just say, come at me, pink skin. Lieutenant Vide, when you get a chance, see if you can stabilize Thrushan, make sure it doesn't bleed out. Yes, sir. 
I don't know what rolls those would be. Um, that would be Daring Medicine. I believe it's just difficulty two. And I'll just walk around to block off any escape route from some girl that okay. you can't just slip her up back behind. All right. Okay. Um, you are able to uh, tear off some of the body, ah, sorry, my apologies. So the body suits, I forgot I've, I'd written this in. The body suits properties are actually allowing it to seal the, to seal the wound itself. Um, he's stable. He's not getting any better, but at least he's stable. He's stable, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Are there any weapons besides the one I'm uh, in this room? Uh, the only obvious energy weapons are the one that's currently being wielded by Singral and the, um, and the forcibly dismantled robot arm that the sh that's lying beside the Shran. Okay, so Vaid's going to reach for that. Okay. I'm and... pretty much free-forming this. So you guys do what you want. <laughs> Basically. Uh, not initiative anymore. Like, I want to say, um, like, not try to knock out health. Oh, okay. Do what? <laughs> do what? <laughs> okay. They said, oh, I'm, I'm like calling you, Captain. Basically, come on, bring it to me. Um, <laughs> so. Roll me a uh, daring plus security there, uh, Vyed. And if you spend Oy. that two momentum you gained for momentum, I'll let you roll a third dice for free, because I think it's funny. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Um, Helsing, you're more than welcome to roll in, in opposition. Oh, I have to. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't catch me asleep. Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, three successes. Okay. Uh, apparently, she caught me sleeping. She caught you sleeping. Uh, as you're busy uh, keeping an eye on B Captain Bashir, uh, Singral, and the still unconscious Nadan. Um, well, roll me, uh, let's see. What is uh, security of that? Plus, roll me six challenge dice, please, uh, Vaid. Ooh. Holy cow. It's probably more than it's needed, but okay. Probably should have only been four, but oh well, it's funnier <laughs> this way. Yeah, so that is four successes. Uh, Helsing, you take four stress, and you're on your ass. What the? I don't know what's going on, but things need to stop. <laughs> And it, I guess if she could still move around, I guess she'll head over to Bashir and the the captain. Okay. Synchrol. Okay. Uh, she's over there for now. Okay. <laughs> so this is fun. I'm liking where this is going. Uh, I guess Singral. <laughs> well, um, I'm not number here. And yeah. this this uh this weapon is terrible. No offense to the Shan, but he can't hear me. He's knocked out or bleeding or both. So I'm going to go ahead and uh yell at Ambassador Assembly. And uh regardless of which, I'm just going to say like whatever is going on and if it doesn't stop here right now, I can promise you that you <laughs> will never get my assistance ever again. Okay. You see, it seems like they, you need me as much as I need. Well, I prefer to have none of you, but you get my point. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you spend that two momentum to create the advantage, I will add her up and add her into initiative order. I will most definitely do so. Okay. She is up and running. Well, slithering. <clears throat> and where is her character sheet? I have this here. 
think I actually statted her out. I did. Good. Okay. Um, she wakes up, takes a quick look at things. And then I just have to double check the talent that I wrote down for her. <clears throat> Cool. Okay. Um, Bashir. Well, let's see how well she rolls. <laughs> well, uh, that's that. <clears throat> uh, make sure the complication ranges are fine. That is fine. She does that. Oh, I can apply area to this. Oh yeah, area is applied. I need to roll seven challenge dice. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> so. Yeah, I applied the area and knockdown ability to this. Um, there's no way you can oppose that many effects on knockdown. So... Every one of you who is not uh, Sengral is takes uh, six uh, psychic damage to your minds, which is actually <laughs> enough to cause an injury. So, yeah, that's yeah. So injure yourself however you feel appropriate. Uh, you're all our friendship. Yeah, <laughs> you're all on your ass. And she stands up and goes, "Enough of this and your posturing." Just as healthy. Basically, yeah. I, go on. Oh yeah, that's right. Because yeah. you'd already taken some damage. Are you <laughs> still up? Do you still have anything in your Helsing? Oh yeah, I got five more. Oh good. But I do have an injury, but I'm not going to pop the determination. Yeah, I'm fair. just going to be out. All right. I'll drop the metal chunks and like basically grab my antenna and just like ah. <laughs> Uh, Captain Singral, if you have a speech prepared or not, now might be the time. And the <laughs> shrine, right. that, that was too momentum. <laughs> okay, no speech, but I am going to posture to Bashir and go take his stupid metal swords. <laughs> <laughs> so, while you are sitting there with your headaches and you have to think about what you've done, I'm going to go ahead and turn back to Ambassador Assembly. He's like, well, I appreciate that. Now, if somebody actually wants to be able to use their words for once and not their fist, I'd be most appreciative. From a distance. <laughs> Hands where I can see them with my shitty fucking face here. <laughs> I, <laughs> pretending like that's a threat. Karen Empire doesn't speak our actions to her word. I'm, I'm, I'm knocked out. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, no one's going to speak, huh? I'm not, I'm not even sure what's going say, on. I have like, I I have like knocked a split out, into... <laughs> what, did you say yeah. knocked down or knocked out? Knocked yeah. down. Knocked down. Okay, just making sure. Well, yeah. The yeah. damage I Basically, took. yeah, he's knocked He's yeah. yeah he's, he, he's knocked out, but nobody else. Is yeah, the Shran is. No, I'm just glaring. <laughs> All right then. Well, if nobody necessarily feels like talking and nobody feels like being friends today, I can gather this real quick. Not my crew. You think I'm dead, and you guys have terrible facial sense. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> so I can, I can, I can hazard a guess where you're from, but honestly, frankly, right now, I don't care. And now I really, really hesitate to say this, but do you want? I'm gonna ask one last time. Do you actually want to get out of here? All right, still silence. You think you I know don't know about them? I, I do. <laughs> Of course, you're the captain's concubine. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Who the heck are you? <laughs> I too want to know what's going on, Pinkskin. 
<laughs> okay, Bluey. <laughs> so, what's the last thing you guys remember before you ended up here? We were... We were in the sector of this fish, and we were taking over their uh, empire. What exactly is your relationship to the ambassador? We came to conquer and destroy the Fathomus. Well, that's a tired answer if I've ever heard one. What do you have to say, Fathomus? Uh, she... What? No, Captain, I'm not the Fathomist. That's our queen. I'm just one of her many speakers. Alright, well, at least to know that uh, some people aren't completely different from what I expected. Uh, just making sure that everybody's on the same page. She, Captain, don't you remember we met... Uh, we were having a chat in your... We were going to be back to our ship until we materialized in your ready room. Oh, I completely remember diverting your transport. I just want to make sure that that's the same person that I'm talking to right now. Certainly, Captain. Her eyes flash. I still hate the Kasala. <laughs> <laughs> the way that you spoke, at least mentally, made it seem like you may have let on a bit more than you know. You did say he's not your captain. So what do you know about these people? All I know is I was only able to figure things out by... Well, my body couldn't move. My mind was still active. I was able to sort of probe their thoughts unconsciously. I knew that he'd killed you, or at least he thought he did. And then you walked in. And I mean, it doesn't take an octopus to make two, two plus two, Captain. I hate the mirror universe. Mirror universe? Log story. You were involved. Tell you later. Okay. And she just sort of accepts this as normal and slowly regains her composure. Well, I'm going to go over and uh, check on the Shran right now. See if there's anything I can do to him to revive, to revive him. <laughs> Um, I don't think you have to do anything more than a couple light slaps to get him up and running at this, because combat's over, and just to keep things moving, yeah. <clears throat> well, denizens oh. of Not My Crew from another universe, oh, welcome to the Federation a reality. If you want to request asylum, I'd be... I'd be thinking twice about granting it, but the option is open to you. How do you presume, Singrel, that we're in your universe? You know what? That's a very good point. I always was smarter than you. Yeah, that I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh. Uh, Thishran, you start waking up roughly the same time Helsing does. Oh, did everyone get the make of the, the shuttle that hit me? I kick him. It's like, what the hell? Is, is that, uh, it's like, hey, what's, what's your problem, and, and what's that ridiculous thing on your face? <laughs> Well, as typical and cliche as it is to say, it seems like we're going to have to figure this stuff out on the move. We all want to get out of here. I suggest cooperation. I agree. For now. I'm so glad you feel that way. I'll follow your lead, Captain. I turn to point, point to him and remember, cooperation means no more, no more kick, kicks to the rear. You're cutting out every now and then, <laughs> Thishran. The oh, okay. But that's all right. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to also uh, hand this phaser to Thishran, and I'm just going to straight up posture right now. 
Okay. Set this phaser to, set this phaser to overload. All right. And I just want you to keep it on your person. And if anything actually starts going south, and nobody necessarily feels like cooperating as much as they want to, then you're going to get a little bit of overload phaser to the face. Well, that's a plan I can get behind. That's for you. Because uh, you're incredibly hurt right now. So I'm just going to make sure you get to have that. So there's your uh, there's your last resort. All right. Uh, Vaid, as you, they're beginning to pick up the pieces, literally, uh, you're noticing the one that had that was knocked unconscious, not the ones that were electrified, uh, is beginning to stir and move. Everyone else is too busy posturing or searching for usable gear to notice. Yeah, she's definitely going to make her way over there. And uh, while doing so, uh, ask uh, Sengral, what do we do about this one? And then she's going to grab it. Or attempt to grab it. I mean, it's a, basically a beach ball with legs. That's no problem. Okay. Well, we could take it with us, or we could start asking it some questions. Anybody speak? Uh, and I'm going to go just to the gray. Whatever you would like it to cooperate. I speak its language, and I walk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What do, uh, you cut out a bit? We've after... tortured them before. Oh, okay. <laughs> I walk. I, I walk up and I hit my hand in my palm. I speak its language. Uh, okay. Well, now let's not do that. <laughs> roll me presence plus security, Helsing. And if you have intimidation or you know something like that, that would work. Uh, this will be a difficulty of one because, quite frankly, you've all already shot it a few times so yeah and he said presence presence plus security okay. do we have any momentum none okay well now uh, you have one momentum now <clears throat> uh it seems sufficiently um, intimidated by your presence. Uh, it begins to speak, even though its mouth doesn't seem to move. Uh, for a few seconds, you're wondering how it's able to form words without it moving its mouth, only to realize at, as it's speaking that the voice is... You're hearing the voice actually inside your head, and it's not... Even though through mental trickery it seems to be coming out of its mouth <clears throat> we do not wish to fight we were simply analyzing measuring observing recording I could record this wait are you actually punching it no <laughs> I walk up and almost you know do that flinch type thing <laughs> How do we get home? To our proper homes. Follow. Yeah. Uh, it um, tries to twist its head around so that it could look at um, Vaid. Obviously it can't. <laughs> um, it's, it's bulky... Its bulky head sort of shakes in a general direction of one of the doors. Follow. She and lets him go. <laughs> it hobbles. It limps. <clears throat> the ship itself seems fairly small as this uh, ragtag group of individuals. I'm assuming one of you is carrying uh, unconscious Nadan. I was hoping that she was going to be here, but alas, I guess no, I've I'll, got the better of her. I'll her. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. It would be two. This room here. 
it brings you to a the closest thing to a bridge you suspect. Uh, let's see. Obviously not that. That one's up and running. Everyone else is here. Cool. Captain. <clears throat> uh, the voice inside your head uh, doesn't speak much unless prodded. Do you have any other questions you wish to ask it? Nope. Okay. Uh, inside the um, control center, for lack of a better term, it points at a it, it points at a holograph in the central table, where it will, and it appears to be uh, several lines, each branching off um, into multiple sec into multiple lines, and then those lines. Uh, splitting off into others we explore in a sense it is a multiverse and we are its custodians if you just wanted to explore and talk to us you could have just made first contact i don't know about these guys but we're i'm a relatively hospitable person i pride myself on it humans and those that surround humans often have demonstrated a great lack of predictability it was deemed far easier and safer to explore in this fashion well when you say when this fashion involves abducting others that's probably not necessarily doing you any points What is uh, let's see this card. What is seven in a universe of quadrillions in the dimensions of iterbiums? That seven is seven don't matter. <laughs> Not. Let's say we take him with us. Because what is one in a the multitudinous numbers that you just mentioned? I am unique. You are not. Let me hit him. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on here. I agree that we probably should find a way to uh, figure out exactly what is going on here and exactly how much information that this person knows. For that, we're in agreement. But exactly where would we be taking him back to? Got an agonizer we can put him in. Yeah. Uh, uh, vote now. I don't think that would be necessary. Captain, what do you say? I think uh, Bashir had to step away for a few. Uh, Bashir, Bashir casts a side eye to the pink skin. Uh, says... We can bring him back to my ship. Bring it. <laughs> I trade it's glances with, uh, with, with our captain and kind of get across like, that's probably not a good idea. No, it's not. So how about this? We go ahead and favorably split all the information that we can gather here on this vessel. And the custody of the gray actually just comes to whoever encountered him first. And I'm totally flipping this coin in my head, hoping that it's us. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of which, I still have this overload phaser. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, Gray's eyes flash white for a split second, and the monitor's uh, change to uh, view screens. Um, there are uh, three. There are two separate. Im uh, it's split between um, Thashran and Singral on one, and uh, Vayud, Bashir, Nadan, and Helsing on the other. We wanted an experiment to see if probability was the same between 
multiverses or between multiple dimensions to see if the tendency to work together came as naturally between such disparate copies as those copies tend to con congregate in their own universes. Are you telling me my engineer's broken rims are a trust building exercise? Because you better give me a different answer. This hurts a lot more than a than a trust fall. <clears throat> uh, this experiment was a failure. We will have to be. We will have to take other measures to see if your universes are are worth are worth studying. Hmm. Maybe we're just a little bit too unique for you. The eyes flashes a bit. And his eye, he slowly shakes his head. This was a failure. Goodbye. And with that, there is a flash of black. And we are going to cut back. Actually, we are going to take a bio break because we've been going for a couple hours. Uh, so let's say we be back at 10 past the hour. And All right. I will see you guys shortly.
Okay, and we are back. So, um, we are going back to the USS Nighthawk, uh, where uh, Captain or Acting Captain Bashir is roughly 20 minutes to go before the uh, Nalu make good on their threat. So, with all this information, what are you going to do about it? I will help them. Okay. Uh, Commandress Shulu uh, answers the hail. Your time is almost up, human. Or I'm sorry, your I'm your time is almost up, Blueskin. I have no idea why I went human. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we have some interesting information. They seem. The bodies that we have in our morgue are not the crew. They are genetic duplicates of your your, your ambassador and my captain. I can transfer the information to prove that of what we are finding so far. Her eyes narrow. If this is a trick, Captain, or if this is a trick, Commander, you rest assured yeah. that the Nalu will not forget such a deception. No tricks. I so far, I basically I can uh, I will tr uh, transmit all the information that I have found so far on the bodies and the genetic material of their species and what we have of ours and basically what we have found that a moment before the explosion the actual members were disappeared and then these for a better word, clones of them were replaced. Her eyes narrow and her um, her frills begin to pulsate as her mind begins to ponder the possibilities of what you've said. If there are indeed clones, our medical, our medical science is advanced enough to detect such a thing. Very well. We shall investigate. Your time is still ticking, but we shall look, Captain. And with that, she cuts the channel. Okay. I uh, say, so well, I'll try. I'll let them take the bodies back to examine them any way they feel want, and we'll go back to our investigation of what exactly happened and how we can reverse this. Uh, where they went. Okay. Uh, roll me an insight science, please. Okay. Um, and the science officer could assist, or the science officer could do it, and you could assist. And in this instance, I will also let the ship assist with computers plus science, because this is going to be a difficulty four. Okay. Do we have any acting momentum? You have none. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. That's one success. That is still one success. Oh, wait. That's Mirror Bashir, not oh, Bashir yeah. Bashir. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're back to the regular universe now, yeah, please. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, my fault. Okay. You could give me threat. I do like threat. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so that is currently three successes. Okay, oh. then I'll succeed with threat. Okay, then 
Okay, I will t I will let that succeed with cost. <clears throat> okay, so what you're able to determine is that probably what you've figured out out of game already is that the Nadion uh, neutrino particles are some form of interdimensional transport. Um, you're able to, while your interdimensional theory is a bit lacking, the ship's computers are able to at least um, it, uh, figure things out a bit mathematically which whereabouts of the, or which of the multi-thousand multiverses might it might go to. So using that, the neutrinos and the quantum signature, you have a hypothetical of where they could be in the multiverse. You're just not yet entirely sure how to talk to them. And Okay. And because you gave me just enough threat, I get to do this. Uh, where is it? Um, your uh, security. Um, Mr. Helsing, your long-range sensors are picking up a large ship uh, coming in. Um, it identify, it identify, or its engine signature matches that of a Kasala vessel. Incoming Kasala vessel, sir. I will hail the Ambassador Mashal. Ambassador Mashal uh, answers your hail. Uh, I was like, greetings, Ambassador. Um, I apologize for not communicating with you sooner. Um, I would like to give you the lowdown of what's going on. Um, and for time's sake, I'll just explain yeah. exactly what, you know, mm -hmm. go on about what's going on with them. Um, I see one of your ships is, oh wait, is it another Masal ship or? It's a Kasala ship, it's, yes. Yeah, it's one of theirs. Yeah, it's like, we are currently working with the Masal to try to figure out what and where the other ambassador is, and my captain. I would ask if you could please calm down your other ship and stand down as we proceed with this investigation. Uh, roll, me pl uh, roll me a presence plus command test. Uh, yeah, difficulty yeah. two. Okay. And if you have negotiations or diplomacy or anything like that, or the diffuse the tension talent would help here too. <laughs> Not there yet. <laughs> oh, who? Okay. Captain, I, Captain, I am only a representative of the union of the Kasala Sanctuary. Our order, I do not have any influence or the ability to overrule their commander's orders. They have been dispatched to deal with a Nalu threat deep within their borders, and they will be here in about five of your minutes. I'm, I'm sorry, Captain. All I can promise is that the Rechi now will not... Um, interfere in any way. I appreciate. Thank you, Ambassador. If you can at least intercede on our behalf, I can send you all the information that we have so far. And as your representative between this negotiation, I implore you to give us some time. I will attempt I will attempt to assuage their f their fears, but I this is no as there is a uh, Balanus class dreadnought cruiser deep within Casala space. This is no longer a diplomatic mission, but rather one of military for us. We must protect our borders. I understand. Thank you, ambassador. Now slightly bow and Signal. Signal just got down. Yes. 
Okay, are we cutting back now, or should I? Tr uh, can I uh, try to work on a sort of communications, or commu uh, uh, we're going to work on the communication stuff now? Okay. <laughs> and I. Believe... So is this another work track team effort? Um, <laughs> for with uh, uh, time being so close, with it being so close to, uh, you know, you need something. You need something done now. This is more going to be daring science, and I believe that Miss okay. Veyad has the perfect focus for this. Yes! Okay. Okay, you do it, I assist. <laughs> All okay. right. Uh, explain to me how you're trying to do this in as much techno babble as you see fit. Uh, I believe that we do have the macro for techno babble here. You should be able to see it. Okay. If you need some assistance. I Got always it. recommend something with a deflector array because that's what they always do. Uh, all right. So what? <laughs> what am I trying to solve? Uh, you're trying to communicate to another dimension, and you have about ten minutes to do so. Got it. Uh, so um, I guess we need to try and. Um, oh gosh, these are some interesting ones. You don't have is to use something those. that I can like re-roll. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. Okay. This is precise. This is just for role-playing thing. If you just aren't comfortable coming up with something, we'll just roll and say you do it. All right. Uh, we either need to like reset or potentially nullify the communications and <laughs> like rewire it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so roll, so if you could please roll me a daring plus science. Uh, the captain can assist with daring plus science, and the ship will assist with structure plus or no with communications plus science. And, and this I... is going to be a difficulty of four. Okay, and because of my focus, I do I do have it. Yeah. <laughs> right, the applicable focus. You have the applicable focus. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. That, Wait, did it go? Uh, yeah, it went. Okay. Okay, so that is currently three successes. Um, if you have a determination that you could spend to reroll that zero, I'd highly recommend it. I will do it. What Wait, value to... do you want? Exactly. To... <laughs> what is... Um, something out there is calling. In this case, it's the, uh, in this case it's the Nighthawk. So we're yes. Calling. <laughs> okay, reroll. Uh, so reroll one daring plus science. <laughs> wow, and that's five successes. So you get one momentum out of the deal. Yes. Well yes, done. All right. Okay, so just as this behemoth. Uh, I said this behemoth. This is getting awfully crowded. There we go. Uh, shows up and begins to power up its weapons. Um, the USS Nighthawk, or uh, Captain Singral, on the other end of the multiverse. Um, the gray alien has just um, waved his, or, eh, sorry. The gray alien's eyes flash white, and it's just you, the Shran, and the ambassador left on the deck. All of a sudden, the, just as the ambassador, or just as the gray alien is about to do the same, uh, he pauses. Curious. He mutters s s uh, silently to himself, actually out of his mouth, as he um, heads over to one of the uh, control panels. It appears that your ship is trying to call you, Captain. Well, we're resourceful people. Indubitably. You know, the, again, I don't know where you took the rest of our friends, but the offer still indeed stands. We can do first contact the proper way. Would you allow me to leave? You are not. You are no longer a hostage, Captain. That's nice. Do you want to become a friend? That is not for me to decide. 
Yeah, well, I didn't necessarily decide to become a hostage today either, so why don't you live a little bit like the primates and uh, embrace some spontaneity? He pushes a, a rune to activate the uh, screen. Uh, Captain Bashir, you are staring at a control room. Or com Commander Bashir, you are staring <laughs> at... It's like I want you to become captain. I don't know why. I know. I don't know either, but I like the way you think. Um, first of all, I'd like to... Well, I just see why this is all going on simultaneously. I'd like to move the ship on an intercept... Not an intercept course, but basically blocking. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, if they fire, we're in the way. Um, Understandable. But anyway, yeah. Okay, like... Uh, Captain Singrel. Oh, I've had... Okay, listen, buddy. I thought... I turned back to the alien. I thought we were trying, trying to get to know each other. You're going to go pull this on me again? I'm still thinking it's the other mirror, Bashir. <laughs> Even with the lack of facial hair? Well... <laughs> Pardon me, Captain? Oh, he's on screen. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Do you need assistance? I would most appreciate it, yes. <laughs> Can we lock transporters on them? Oh, God, no. Yeah, I was going to say, we're... As I say, I didn't think so. Uh, you are not necessarily in our universe. <laughs> So, what do you need me to do on my end? Honestly, I'm not sure. I don't know. We have yet to figure out exactly their technology of how they took you out of your ready room. Um, right now, techno bevel, techno bevel, techno bevel. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> the phrase quantum signature is used a lot when uh, talking about there, interdimensional there stuff. <laughs> Uh, we've been that yeah we have been able to track down your quantum signature and Jerry rig a device to at least make communication to you uh, as of how to get you back. Maybe you can ask the people on how yeah. that took you. Is there any, any issue if I start poking around on our side? Or am I uh, going to get stopped? As the as you, as soon as you uh, hunch over and touch something. You hear a voice inside of your head panicking, Don't touch that! You turn back, look around. The small alien just sort of, once again, expressionless, even though his eyes are sort of flashing slightly redder the closer you get to their technology. Captain... Uh, uh, Captain Singral, you hear in your head, Captain Singral, please order Miss... Uh, the Shran away from the equipment. I will, if you want first contact done, then I shall do as you say and live a little. Most appreciative. And make sure you uh, take care of it correctly. Otherwise, I'll actually order the Shran to touch a button. And he loves doing that. Oh, please do. Uh, if the alien could sh grimace, he would be doing so. <laughs> Captain, is that a disco ball on the counter? <laughs> We're going to cut back to the station uh, where uh, Helsing... I never need to put it. Where, Hels where Helsing and Jeffries are coordinating uh, precise tactical maneuvers uh, 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 known as... Um, yeah, known as... Uh, Just walk. Hold... hold. <laughs> Uh, that's a different tactical maneuver. Um, <laughs> that's that's not what I'm going for here. I'd like... <laughs> okay, scratch it, Jeff. Jeff. Let's go different. Uh, there. Operation cock block. How about that? That works. Uh, okay. Ve Ved, um, because you are actively monitoring your sensors and knowing what to look for now, uh, there is, let's see. Off the starboard bow, you are detecting a bloom of fresh nadion and neutrino particles. Uh, Captain, there are... Uh, you said fresh nadion and neutrino particles? Yep, that's right. Coming from behind the ship, right? Uh, off to the... Is it behind? Um, one of the off bows. Off to the starboard side. 
off to the side, the starboard side. <laughs> and uh, just as as soon as you finish speaking, it wasn't there a second ago, and now it's there, without any pomp, circumstance, or special effects. Uh, out pops this ship. Uh, the gray alien looks to the captain and Mr. Uh, Thashran and says, or thinks, farewell. And you two are immediately back on the bridge of the USS Nighthawk, just in time to see this uh, sh uh, this ship spin, a spin around and vanish into uh, warp speed. Well, as much fun as that's been, I need to get these uh, ribs looked at. Okay, that ship disappeared, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It vanished now, into warp. Did the uh, ambassador appear with them? <laughs> the ambassador did not appear on the bridge. Um, however, a quick communication from the uh, Nalu ship indicates that the ambassador has made it safely on board and thanks you for your assistance all right everybody's on board i put shields up and i, I thought shields were up already uh no oh, yeah. now yeah, we were I was gonna, oh okay i was gonna say because we're doing all this beaming i was kind of like uh <laughs> oh their their transporter technology does not use beaming well okay it does just Fair not enough. in a way that your shields matter gotcha okay so yeah um i hail or the ambassador i would like to uh announce that uh what we have coming in and to try to hail the new ship that is uh, on their way in. The as uh, they appear, the, the <laughs> Kasala, I'm assuming. Yeah. Admiral or Ambassador Menshal appears on the screen. Captain, we've noticed a that the Nalu vessel has powered down its weapons after the odd ship appeared and left. I'm assuming someone has answers. Yes. Uh, it appears that we've received our crew. They have received their crew. I request that this turns back to diplomacy and we can resume discussing the situation of this treaty violation and investigate the station that we were he called to be here uh mr helsing uh you your pan uh, your display uh shows an alert uh indicating that the nalu vessel is cloaking uh ambassador mm -hmm. sim lee has sends a text message to both uh captain singral and to the uh kasala ambassadors uh, saying something along the lines of we know that this is that whatever is going on is not of Kasala origin the Nalu refused to play into their plans if any, if you gain any intelligence on this alien species it would be considered a goodwill gesture to send it to these coordinates on these frequencies and they shall be received with thanks Happy face, fish face. <laughs> at which point the Kasala just... She takes a second to look down at her display. All You see all of her shoulders just sag with a bit of relief and just tired exhaustion. <laughs> Captain Singral, so, sorry, Captain Singral. Is, is, oh, is the captain here? The <coughs> captain is not here. Okay. The captain's uh, here. Oh, hey, captain. Yay! 
<laughs> Captain, you're back on the bridge of your ship. Uh, Ambassador Menchal of the Kasala. Uh, um, Captain, I believe that what we have witnessed here was a meddling in state affairs by a third party, as your initial hunches have seen to. We request a similar agreement that if you learn anything more about this alien species, that you please share it with us as an act of good faith, and we shall do the same. We may even find something in common with the Nalu in all of this. Well, it was a definitely shared experience, and that could be one good step to bonding. And, you know, peace between people. Mm. Her eyes raise, or one of her eyebrows raises, almost Vulcan-like. And just due to the size of their elongated head, their eyebrows rise quite a bit. <clears throat> um, perhaps, Captain. However, um, we shall we shall investigate these terrorist attacks as... A strike against the Kasala Empire from a third party. At this point, we believe that your assistance has been noted, and for the time being, we request that you leave Kasala space. We'll honor that request if you're satisfied with our work and there's nothing else to be done here. If there is any follow up information that you require, be sure to send it our way. Of course, Captain. Mm. I bid you uh, fair winds. Fair winds, Ambassador. And with that, she cuts the communication, and you guys are free to do what you want to do. Anything you guys want to do to wrap up? Did Thrashan go to the medical bay, or is he on yeah, the bridge? Yeah, Thrashan is medical bay. limping to the med yeah, center. Yeah, he was going to the medical bay, yeah. <laughs> You want to help him down there? See, how, how you doing, buddy? Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so Thashran, you enter sick bay, and yeah. you see yourself. You're just dead. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? What did? What did you do to my body? Yeah. Why, uh, can I? Why is the <laughs> wrist attached? Why is the wrist, wrist attached to the hips? Koax just sort of strides out and surprises you. Lieutenant Commander, what? The... Thank goodness you're alive and, you know, not bleeding. I should have disposed of that. I am so sorry. Well, I'm sh I'm sure glad I'm alive, because otherwise if I was alive, well, you did that to me. I'd... Please, please. Um, without any uh, second thought, uh, Commander Koax um, pushes a button on the bio bed and sort of the bio bed um, wraps the body in a body bag, seals it, uh, rolls it onto the onto an orderly uh, carrying a cot, and then he asks gestures for you to sit down. I warily eye the bed now. And I just gingerly start patting it before I sit down, making sure no surprises pop out. Oh. Well, and. Seeing your gingerness, uh, CMO Coox doesn't see that doesn't seem to bother him as he comes up with a tricorder right behind him. I'd be very interested in this uh, bodysuit when you're done with it, Ca Lieutenant Commander. There's some interesting biotech at work here. Yeah, I think it, it did a decent job of uh, keeping my ribs on the inside when I got um, the uh, the snow kicked out. Who did this? Let's just say uh, I've been in a fist fight with a Klingon before, and uh, this guy hit even harder than that. Oof. He puts on a very uh, friendly smile, uh, tosses you a couple peppermint candies, and adjusts a hypo spray to your neck as he applies a uh, regenerator to your wounded torso. Take two of these. Call me in the morning. All right, and I'll have to make a note to uh, sometime in the future after I've recovered, um, maybe take some uh, sparring lessons with Helsing. Ah, that would be fun. 
Anyone else have scenes they'd like to do? Doesn't no. sound like it. Okay. So we'll end it here, folks. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, the Nighthawk shall be back in two weeks. That will be Jan or February the 13th, right before Valentine's Day. So you don't have to worry about miss missing that special day to uh, play Star Trek or watch Star Trek. So <laughs> thank you all for playing. I will stop it here and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.